Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey here, once again with another video on Arrow Season 5. So as most of you may know by now, we had it confirmed a few days ago back that uh, Deathstroke would in fact be returning to Arrow to be a part of Episode 23, otherwise known as Season 5's finale. And speaking of the finale, it actually had its title revealed the other day by executive producer of Arrow, Mark Guggenheim, and that title for Episode 23 is Lian Yu, as in the name of the island that Ollie has been stranded on, or at least for seasons 1, 2, and 4, and I guess the end of 5. Now just quickly before we go ahead, a lot of people have been asking me about Flash set pictures. I know, I've seen them, I can't just force out videos. You know me, I only like to bring out like a video a day, and maybe two if it's necessary, but I don't think it's that necessary to rush these videos, so I'm going to take my time with it. I've got a couple of videos planned from those set pictures, so... Uh, two of them will most likely be out over the weekend, so just uh, calm down, they're coming. I've seen all the, uh, the, the videos and the, uh, the different pictures. But back to the Deathstroke stuff. A few people were confused about whether Manu Bennett was actually returning to play Slade Wilson or Deathstroke. And he actually arrived in Vancouver yesterday to begin filming, so everyone calm down. It was a stuntman in the suit, but it's always a stuntman in the suit, unless it's a scene where he has to take off the mask and show that, it, oh, I'm Manu Bennett. So yeah, he's, he's going to be there. Everything that's under the suit, he's most likely recorded his voice for it. So he's back. He is going to play Slade Wilson when, you know, Deathstroke isn't wearing the mask. So everyone, you know, just calm down. But Deathstroke isn't the only character coming back for the finale of Arrow Season 5 on Lian Yu. There is a smorgasbord, I guess you could say, of characters returning for the final showdown. And boy, does it get me excited. First off, an obvious one, and that is Black Siren, who was actually confirmed to be in episode 22 and 23 of this season over a week ago, as well as, you know, her being in season 6 as well. Katie Cassidy, who plays Black Siren, as well as, you know, Laurel Lance in general, was flying to Vancouver in the past 12 hours uh, from when this video will be uploaded, so she won't be in some scenes on the island, which does indicate where her alliances may lie in regards to this conflict between Oliver and Prometheus. In this picture here, which is the only set picture I'm going to show you, because really it's the only set picture from Arrow that is of any decent quality, but you can see Ollie, Deathstroke, and Digger Harkness, aka Captain Boomerang, who is back, like I said, in a video around three weeks ago or something, because the actor had posted on Twitter, like a little tease that Boomerang was returning, and boom, here we go, Boomerang is back. It is important to remember that Deathstroke and Boomerang were both prisoners in the Argus lockup thing on Lian Yu, so it looks like Ollie will be the one to set them free to help him take down some certain enemies. For Deathstroke and Boomerang, it will be interesting to see why they would be helping Ollie. Maybe Ollie offers them their freedom, or maybe uh, in the like the Flash comic book in regards to the one that's like associated with the TV show, Boomerang was a part of the Suicide Squad. So maybe his bomb is still in his neck. I think in that comic it like deactivates or something and that's why he's able to get away from them for a while. But that might be why. Maybe Argus because they were the ones that ran the Suicide Squad put bombs in their prisoners necks just in case they were to escape. So maybe Ollie figures that out and he's able to use that as sort of like leverage against them to help him take down Prometheus. I know it's a bit extreme in both cases whether Ollie's like offering them their freedom or he's saying, if you don't help me, I'll blow your heads off. I know it's a bit extreme, but it is a possibility. So this showdown on Lian Yu looks like it will be a Team Oliver versus Team Prometheus battle, as I said before, with, by the looks of it, Deathstroke and Boomerang on Ollie's side. But who else will be partaking in the battle, and for which side will they be on? There are some other set photos, which I said before, which are in the worst quality possible, so I'm not even going to bother showing them, but they showed Nisar al Ghul, as well as Malcolm Merlin, on the shores of Lian Yu, and from what people could tell, it looked like Malcolm might be on the side of Oliver's in this conflict, but he may have just been there or ran into them or something along those lines. No one heard any dialogue, so it was pretty hard to confirm whether he was, you know, on Oliver's side in this case. I think it's pretty obvious which side Nissa Al Ghul would be on in this battle, and if you, for some reason, have no clue, that's obviously going to be on Ollie's side as well. But speaking of Nyssa, I think there may be a pretty big reason as to why she might be so inclined in helping Ollie out, and that would be the opportunity to take on her sister, Talia Agul, who, as we know, is on Team Prometheus. 
Ever since Talia Al Ghul was announced to be appearing in this season of Arrow, a lot of people began speculating whether or not we would actually see Nyssa show up and, you know, come face to face with her older sister Talia on screen. In the comics, Nyssa is actually the older sister to Talia and actually I think she like tortures Talia by like, you know, killing her and repeatedly bringing her back to life in the Lazarus pit or maybe that's just one storyline, I can't remember, but that's pretty messed up. But yeah, due to that, there is some uh, decently sized animosity between the two Al Ghul sisters, so it'll be pretty interesting to see what their relationship is like on Arrow, as we haven't seen it before. Like, hell, they haven't even really referenced it or mentioned it that much either. So this conflict of the Al Ghul sisters could actually be one of the highlights of the Season 5 finale, and I'm guessing there's going to be a decent amount of highlights, but this could definitely be towards the top of that list. So let's actually break down the two teams that we will most likely see line up on the shores of Lian Yu in the finale episode of Arrow Season 5. Now obviously these are just down to assumptions and, you know, just common, you know, common sense, I guess you could say in some cases, but, you know, they could do some twists, but we're just going off some of the set pages and stuff and what we can assume is going to happen. So in regards to Team Arrow or Team Oliver, we would have Ollie, obviously, because he's the captain of this team, if you want to call it that. Nyssa, because I just can't see her being on Team Prometheus. And then Deathstroke and Boomerang. Now, obviously, we're just going off that theory that Ollie's offering them something in return, you know, whether that be freedom or their life, because he could easily just blow their heads off if they have those, you know, Task Force X uh, bombs in their neck. And then we have Team Prometheus, which is, once again, obviously Prometheus as the team captain, Talia Al Ghul, and Artemis. Artemis will be in at least episode 22, and I would just have to assume she's, she's in 23, but at least for 22, she's going to be on Team Prometheus, unless something happens to her there. But uh, yeah, I think Prometheus might need all the help that he's going to get if Ollie's going to have all these people on his team, so... Yeah, I'm just going to say Artemis might be there. And then we actually have two wild cards, and you should be able to know what they are because I mentioned them earlier in the video and haven't mentioned them yet, and that is Black Siren and Malcolm Merlin. Now, I've put them down as wild cards because, as I said, Malcolm was lined up with Talia, uh, not Talia, sorry, Nyssa, Ollie, Deathstroke, and Boomerang in a previous set picture, but you got to find, like, what would his motivations be, unless maybe Prometheus is threatening Thea, and, you know, that's what Malcolm has really been about in the past two seasons of Arrow. It's protecting Thea, so maybe that's why he's there, because Prometheus may have threatened Thea's life. And then Black Siren is an interesting one, because I think in episode 22, she's going to be with Prometheus, because I know that uh, Black Siren is in a scene with Artemis. They, uh, you know, people that had their cameras and stuff that were scouting the, uh, the set locations, if you want to call it that, did say that they were filming a scene between Artemis and Black Siren, but it was bad lighting or they couldn't get any photos or something. So I don't know if that will be the episode where Ollie convinces Black Siren to maybe, you know, you know, come over to my side or, you know, Black Siren actually could be on Team Prometheus this episode and it comes to the end of the episode before something happens with her and, you know, maybe she changes allegiance and, you know, comes to the good guys. I don't know what they're going to do, but that's why I put Black Siren and Malcolm Merlin on the wild card section because I don't really know which side they would actually take in this battle on Lian Yu. But I guess the, one of the bigger questions here is who will win? Well, you'd have to assume Ollie could win, but they could do something like a big twist, if you want to call it that, because Arrow Season 5 is essentially like the end of an, or not an era, but end of a chapter, and Season 6 is almost going to be like a soft reboot for the show, so they could honestly do something where Ollie is actually defeated. Prometheus might still die, something might still happen to Prometheus, but Ollie overall as a character is defeated, and you could say that Team Prometheus actually won. It might be a bit too convoluted to actually do on the show, because it does seem like this finale is going to have a lot of stuff going on, so I don't know if they'd be able to like put something that like uh, that twisted into the episode, but I guess we'd have to wait and see, but you would have to assume Team Arrow would actually win just because they're the good guys, it's a season finale, usually the good guy wins in the season finale, but let me know in the comments who you think would win, because I'm guessing most of the comments are going to be, yeah, Team Arrow is going to win, but I don't know, some of you might think that Prometheus could win. I have seen a couple of people asking me in the comments, especially on my other Deathstroke video from the other day, whether I think Deathstroke or Boomerang or like Artemis or Talia or even Nyssa could actually die. And I guess my answer to that is maybe, I'm not going to say yes or no, but maybe if they want to do that, I don't think they would kill Deathstroke. I just don't think they would do that because I think it would annoy a lot of people, especially seeing Manu Bennett is coming back for the role. 
I think that would actually annoy him as well if he was actually killed off. And honestly, with Boomerang, I think if he's allowed to get away, it wouldn't surprise me if he pops up on The Flash next year, just because Boomerang is a Flash villain and he's really been associated with the Arrow show ever since he's like, you know, introduction to the, the Arrowverse. So they might let Boomerang go, go over to Flash, do what he wants to do over there. But uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about people dying. I can't see Artemis living. I think she deserves to die as well. Like, yeah, I think she will die just because I think she deserves it. But uh, she might be the only death. Who knows? But thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on it. As I said, who do you think is going to win? What do you think of the teams? Do you think Black Siren and Malcolm Merlin are on the good side, that being Team Arrow, or the bad side, that being Team Prometheus? Because I think it's a, it's a bit hard to tell what those two characters would do especially Black Siren, because they say she's going to be in Season 6, so does that mean she, you know, joins Team Arrow, or is it for another reason that she's in uh, Season 6? You know, it's a bit hard to tell, but yeah, let me know what you think of all of that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you later, guys. Goodbye.